Each year, millions of people tackle DIY home improvement projects. While these projects can save money for a skilled homeowner, there are also a number of potential hazards they may encounter. In addition to issues with building code compliance, laws, permits, ladders, sharp tools, and electrical and gas hazards, a do-it-yourselfer could face hidden exposure risks. Unfortunately, some of these could even put the well-being of people in jeopardy. These potential hidden dangers include asbestos. Until the 1970s, many building products used in homes contained the mineral fiber known as asbestos. Asbestos fibers could be released into the air if these materials are disturbed. Exposure is known to cause lung cancer, mesothelioma, and asbestosis. Lead-based paints were also used for decades. Many homes built before 1960 contain heavily leaded paint, and some homes built as recently as 1978 also contain lead-based paint. While exposure to lead is harmful to all people, children are especially vulnerable. Another issue is mold. As reported by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, mold is very common in buildings and homes. Mold will grow in places with a lot of moisture, such as around leaks and roofs, windows or pipes, or when there has been flooding. Respirable crystalline silica, and other particulate matter, is another potential hazard in some DIY projects. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration reports that materials like sand, stone, concrete, and mortar contain crystalline silica. It is also used to make products such as bricks and artificial stone. The agency has warned that in the workplace, workers who inhale these very small crystalline silica particles are at increased risk of developing serious silica-related diseases, including silicosis. Occupational exposure has also been associated with lung cancer, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and kidney disease. Breathing it during a DIY project should also be avoided. Home improvement projects could also expose people to cockroach and rodent allergens. Cockroaches and their droppings are also a known asthma trigger, and rodents are known to spread disease. If birds or bats have been living in an attic or other location that is part of the project, their droppings could put people at risk for developing infections, such as histoplasmosis. Even new materials and finishes used in the project could expose building occupants to elevated levels of volatile organic compounds, including formaldehyde in some circumstances. The Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry states that formaldehyde levels are higher in new manufactured wood products and some fabrics. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, exposure to some VOCs may have short and long-term adverse health effects. These are just a few of the hidden exposure risks people may encounter during a DIY home improvement project. To learn more about this or other building science, indoor environmental quality, health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.